Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to Naval Ops Worship Gunner. It's been about a month since I got to record, but uh, I just got back to doing it finally. Uh, college picked up a little bit, and I got an Xbox One, so I've been playing the crap out of that. And to be perfectly honest, I really don't want to fight this boss because he's annoying, but I gotta do it sometime, so here we go. Um, you'll notice, you might notice, anyways, I've added a lot of boilers to the ship. These are the biggest smokestacks I can get, and I have two of them. And combined, I can have 28 boilers, so that's what I did. I got the speed up to 37.7 knots. I also added three more main gun turrets here in the middle so that I can have a bigger broadside. I'm debating just getting rid of this chain gun because I don't know if I'm going to switch to it at any point. Probably not, but I'll leave it there. Well, I don't know. How much speed does it knock off? Or how much speed does it give me? That's a lot. Okay, I'm leaving it off. <laughs> um, but it has been... I haven't played this since the last time I recorded, so my um, I'm going to be fumbling buttons. It's it's just a reality. So my vision for this episode is it's one huge finale episode. I do the mission, I beat the guy, and I let the credits roll all in one episode. And if the episode ends up being super duper long, then it you know that's what happens. But uh, I definitely want to get this finished up. So let's do some tech because I have money. And then we will go ahead and get to the boss fight. So I'm going to invest heavily into weapons and engine, like so. Let's see what I get from that. Yes. Atomic Engine 7. That's cool. I did try putting atomic engines on the ship, but they were just nowhere near as effective as the boilers. Like, if I just have a massive amount of boilers like I do now, they are just better. 80 centimeter, 50 caliber. I saw a turbine 8 in there, so we're actually going to go and put those on there now. And if you saw it there, I know it kind of clicked really quick, but that was um, the anti-sub-missile VLS. If you get to metallurgy level, or weapons level 30, excuse me, level 30, you do get the anti-sub-missile VLS, which can, of course, be placed on battleships, which is awesome. So let's go put the new turbines on real quick, because that'll only take a second. And then we're going to start the mission. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna skip the briefing and the intro cutscene because we've seen those a couple of times now. Um, so I need to. Go, whoops! Oh crap! Nope. I hate it when I do that because there's this whole drawn-out loading screen thing that I have to wait through. Um, back. Yeah. Also, because I've been playing my Xbox One, um, I'm used to the B button which is circle on a PS2 controller, being the back button, like when you want to back out of a menu or something. And now that I'm back on PlayStation, playing this game is triangle. So that's going to take some getting used to. What was I doing? Engine. Um, turbine. Turbine 8. I already have one, so I only need to buy three. And engine remove place at 8. Slow it down. 1 two, three, and four, and that gets us a little bit more speed, almost another entire knot, so that's cool. I will take it, and I think we are finally ready to go and fight this boss. At the end, I will talk about my future plans for other Let's Plays that I want to do, because there are a lot of games I want to make Let's Plays of. Um, so I'll talk about all of that stuff at the end of this battle. So we're going to skip the briefing because we've seen it. I think our ship is about as ready as it's going to be. I don't think there's really much else we can do to make this thing any better. So here we go. Two whole battleship. Let's do this. I have to remember to check the recording. Make sure that doesn't crash. Knowing my luck it will good so far. Please don't crash. And then, not only don't crash, but let me beat him on the first try so this can just be one straight shot. I'm going to be cut out, cutting out any failed attempts. That way you guys don't have to sit there and through all of that. Hey, good, it didn't crash. Okay, let's try to do this on the first try. So the Twin Hole Battleship has a lot more health than a regular battleship, and it has more armor. So, I should have a much better chance of surviving now. 
Um, and to be honest, this is my first time using the Twin Hill Battleship in this game. Like, when I beat this guy on my other memory card, I did it with a regular battleship, albeit the highest tier battleship, but still just a regular single hull battleship, because I didn't have this. Um, so, I don't remember how I got that to work. Well, I remember what I did, but I can't seem to get that strategy to work here for one reason or another. Um, so, I'm just going to have to try and get as lucky as humanly possible, but I am known for having bad luck, so that's a, that'll be fun. Um, I see some missiles coming in. I'm going to try and shoot at those right now, because, well, we don't want to deal with those. We saw what those were doing to us last time. Okay, here he comes. We're going to skip that, because we've seen it, and we just want to get this over with ASAP. I want to get rid of these lasers. Pretty much any of these ba shore base things, I want to get rid of immediately. Uh, where is he? Okay. This is what I did last time. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's... Oh, sight steering. No, we don't want that. How do I get rid of that? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There we go. Come on, precision mode. Precision mode. Oh, I'm on the wrong weapon. Jesus. Okay. So... See, this is what I got to happen last time. Every time I would see him shoot, I would stop moving so that his shells miss. See, he's shooting, so I'm going to stop and go to reverse. And it's pretty much just a game of dodge his shots and keep shooting at him the entire time. And that's all this really turns into. So anytime I see him shoot at me, I change my direction. And sometimes it can be really hard to tell if he's actually shooting or if it's me hitting him. Uh, but this is also why I have so many uh, main guns on my ship. Oh, here come some shells. Might have been too late on those. I don't know what these missiles are coming from, but I don't like it. Okay, I'm already about to sink. No, please. I don't know what these missiles are coming from. Stop it. Stop it. Okay. I need to pause and repair. Really want to get this in one shot. That'd be great. Emergency repairs commencing. Come on. Turn around, camera. What's in front of me? There's a couple of missile launchers. Okay. Um, Minor damage. Ow. Yeah, see, those are his main gun shells, and that's what we need to avoid. There's an enemy over here somewhere. Okay, I need to turn as soon as this is done. Come on now, it's done. Come on now. Come on, it's done already. Just move. Emergency repair Thank complete. you. Let's get out of the way of those shells. And back to shooting Engine this guy restarted. repeatedly. Crap. He's pretty hard to miss. He's the biggest boss in the game. Which, I mean, you'd expect. He's the final boss. But, yeah, he's pretty hard to miss, you know? So, just keep shooting, and you should hit him eventually. Okay, this is, um, that we've got him below half health, so this is going pretty well so far. I've only used one of my repairs. If I can just keep this pattern going, then everything will be good. I just have to keep trying to dodge his shells, which, quite frankly, I've been doing a pretty bad job of so far. But you can see, I'm just moving my direction, like, changing direction all the time. And I already have to back off again. Oh, God. Whew, that was close. Okay, I'm doing something wrong now. I was doing good the first time. Now I'm doing something wrong. I have to figure out what it is, and I have to figure it out quick. Ah, I'm close to all these missiles now. Okay, that's what it is. I got really close to a bunch of missile launchers all of a sudden. So that's what I need to... Rectify. Let's see, that's the front of the ship. Yep, so I'm gonna just boost forward as soon as this is done so I can get away from these missile launchers and keep shooting him. Hopefully I can survive the repair, though. I'm getting pretty bombarded right now. Seems like every time I get up to a certain point, I just get hit by a whole bunch more... Yep, there it goes. Okay, attempt number 19, and I've developed a new strategy. 
Um, I've discovered, more specifically, I've gotten more specific about it. Um, when you get him down to roughly a quarter health, that's when he pulls out the big blue laser that just does, like, almost 3,000 damage to you per hit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get out here just enough to make him spawn, and then I'm gonna hide back here, because I know he'll come around this area. And I'm just gonna stay back here, because I'm assuming that little blue laser can't go through the land. So, hopefully that is true. That's my, that's my, that's my hope. And hopefully it's true. And then I can just keep pelting him from the other side of these mountains and hills and, you know, this land here. And that's, that's pretty much the basic gist of it. Um, I don't know how this is going to work, but you guys will. Super ship mm. Trunus gas detected. I'm definitely going to have to make a failed compilation of all of my failed attempts because you guys won't, won't understand. You guys won't be able to comprehend how annoying this guy is if I don't make a compilation. So I'm going to hide back here because I know he's going to come, like, past this, the mouth of this strait here. So I'm just going to hang out back here, you know? Just have a little party all to myself. And pretty much my strategy here is just uh, survive and take pot shots. That's, uh, that's the basic gist of it. And that's, I'm hoping it works. I have nothing to, to you know, say that, yeah, this should work, other than just, uh, why not try something different? Because what I've been doing hasn't been working, so time to switch it up. Did I ever tell you the definition of insanity? Yes. Doing the same shit over and over again and expecting things to change. So, we're going to switch it up. Because at the moment, this is the definition of insanity. That I've been doing, anyways. So, time to try something else. Like just hanging out back here. Where is he? Where is he? There he is. Oh, wait, now go forward. There you go. Now go backwards. Now go forwards. Now go forwards quickly. There you go. Now go backwards. See? Pot shots. This may not be the most effective thing, but at least it's different. And at least I'm safe from his lasers. Once he starts using me. Okay, good. And yeah, he um he just circles around the big body of water, so literally all I have to do is stay back here and he'll come back. He'll come back. I can just hide back here for as long as I need to and he'll come back. And I'm willing to take as much time as I need to to beat this guy because I just want to beat him at this point. That's all I care about. He shouldn't be able to hit me anymore, or shoot at me anymore, I mean. He should be out of range at this point. So, yep, I'm gonna just hang out back in this, this big, uh, part of the map with these islands as cover, and I'm gonna sit back here, where he can hit me. And if this takes forever to do, I will cut it out. You know, I'll cut out the boring parts where I'm just sitting here waiting for him to come back around. I have no problem with that. Whatever lets me kill him at this point, I don't even care. I don't care how long it takes, I don't care what I have to do. Whatever lets me kill him. Hopefully, once I find a strategy that works for me, you guys can use it for yourselves if you are trying to struggle with this boss here. If you're not... You know what I mean? If you're struggling with the boss and you're trying to beat him, hopefully whatever I end up getting to work uh, also works for you. And I think this is probably one of the best ways to go about this. So once he does start using his big annoying laser, he can't hit me, in theory. Hopefully it can't go through the land. That's, that's what this entire strategy is based on. The hope that that laser cannot go through the land. That's what this entire plan is based off of. So that when he gets low enough on health, I'll be safe back here from the blue laser. That's... everything is banking on that assumption. <sighs> I 
hit him? No, he's way out of range. I'm okay with that. He can stay out of range. Oh, he's back in range again. Apparently. Where is he exactly? I'll take I'll let this take as long as it needs to, man. Whatever I have to do to kill him. That's all I want. Oh, I just want it to be over. Okay, as a reference point, the little boat is 6,500 meters away. So when he gets close to the... When his white dot gets close to that purple dot, I know that he's pretty much in firing range. So... That's the plan. There we go. I should be able to shoot at him now. Yeah, dude, I've got him down uh, 49,000 health. Nice. All right, let's go forward again. Again, everything is riding on the blue laser not coming through the land. Everything is riding on that. If it can, then I'm pretty much just SOL. I'm gonna have to figure something else out again. Minor damage. the little lasers. It looks like the little lasers are being stopped by the land, which is reassuring. Oh, crap. I'm trying to dodge his main guns while also getting into better cover. Ow. Seems like we just did a lot of damage. He's got me concerned. Where am I relative damage. to him? Okay. Need to back up. Oh, it stops on the land. <gasps> did you see that? It stops on the land. It's gonna work. I just have to try and repair real quick. The most important thing is that the blue laser does get stopped by the land. Emergency repairs commencing. Oh man, this is gonna be a much closer than I'd like it to be. But as long as I can kill him, that's Direct all I want. On deck. Heavy damage. All I want is to kill him. That's, that's all I want. I'm actually gonna sit here and or move very slowly just so that his blue laser does not end up with the line of sight on me. That's it. I'm gonna just kind of hope that his main guns are inaccurate enough to hit or to miss me and I'm just gonna keep shooting. He's so low. He's so low on health. Come on, 2,000, 1,000. Get him. Finish him. Ah! Oh, that's how you do it. That's how you beat the final boss. Holy crap. I am actually surprised that worked. But there it is. If you want to beat the final boss, that's how you do it. Hopefully now the game does not crash. It just crashed. No, it didn't. Okay, it's good. Whew. I was about to go restart the program. Oh my god. That was attempt number, what, what did I say, 19, I think? But every time that I died, I tried to learn something new. Super ship Drunus cast sunk. Thank God. <sighs> the noise is expanding tremendously. The, the radar noise or the, the actual, like, he's exploding noise? I guess they're talking about the radar noise. Oh, oh, or both. Very air is warping. Oh no! Noise level is off the charts. He's sinking even more ships. Didn't he already sink every ship in our fleet? Where did, where did all these guys come from? Oh, there's my ship. <laughs> you can tell because it looks ridiculous. Unidentified high energy field erupting from the super ship. I never thought I was going to beat this guy tonight before I left. Evasive action. We're going to... to oh, I missed that After part. After the noise created by the enemy super ship had receded, there was silence. <laughs> After regaining consciousness, all I could see was an empty bridge. The captain and crew had disappeared as suddenly as they had arrived. We owed our lives and our future to them. They had gone beyond. The citizens of our world, a world they saved, had no chance to give them the thanks and acclamation they so deserved. 
With its super ships gone, the empire began to disintegrate. It fragmented into smaller countries, which in turn were buried by the ages. The long shadow of the empire began to fade into history, as did the evidence of their villainy. But we will never forget. Never forget mm, the brave so silly with all the guns. guided our world out of darkness and into the light of freedom. Pretty cool though, to be honest. I that Over looks terrifying. Over the age when their shining ship sailed the seas of our world. I still think it's really cool and impressive that they actually use your ship in the cutscenes. I like that. Did it crash for the credits? Really? I'm gonna have to re-watch the credits and uh, record them separately and edit them into the video. Anyways guys, I'll use this opportunity to talk about the, f the near future. So, thank you guys for watching this series. Of course, I'm sorry that this last episode took forever to put out, but um, college picked up. I just got an Xbox One, um, and I really didn't want to fight this guy. Like, this was... This fight was why I, part of why I didn't get over here and record, or get up here and record, up in my room that is. But yeah, um, just, he's a jerk, as you can see. But he's dead now, and the series is over. I will re-record re these credits, um, hopefully. And uh, yeah, you guys will be seeing those right after I'm done talking. Um, so I've made a decision about Naval Ops Commander. I still want to do a Let's Play of it, but I need to take a break from difficult games for a while. Because after this nonsense, yeah, I can't jump into Naval Ops Commander. I can't do it. As much as I want to go in the order that the game's released, I can't. So I'm either going to do um, Worship Gunner 2 next, or I'm going to do some other game uh, just whenever I have time. Like I said, you know, recording is going to be much more sporadic now. Um, so whenever I have time, I'll record a Let's Play. I don't know what my next game is going to be. It might be Worship Gunner 2. It might be something on the 1. It might be something on my 360. Could be anything. There's a lot of stuff I want to do Let's Plays of. So with that said, thank you guys for watching the series. Sorry it was so drawn out with a, a lot of, you know, long breaks in there. But with that aside, thank you for watching. And here are the credits. I will see you guys in the next Let's Play. Have a good one.